Caribbean to the Bronx. There is a new hot spot in the city making things a whole lot sweeter. Yeah, Chocolate Cortes, the famous Puerto Rican chocolate maker, opening its first brick and mortar restaurant and cafe in the mainland U.S. And where else? but in the heart of Mott Haven. I love that you're there right now, Marisol. Give us the showdown, give us the tour. <laughs> I love that I'm here also, and I love hearing you guys attempt at rolling your R's. It brings me so much joy. But yes, we are smack dab in the middle of Mott Haven in the Bronx on the corner of 134th and Alexander. Joining me is the man behind this beautiful, beautiful place, Carlos Cortez. Thank you for joining us. From San Juan, Puerto Rico, all the way to Mount Haven, why here? Well, Chocolate Cortes has been making chocolate in Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic since 1929. And it's something that if you're Puerto Rican or Dominican, you grew up with our hot chocolate and our chocolate products. So for us, moving here to New York, it was important to come to where our community was. And the South Bronx and the Bronx in general is the stronghold of the Puerto Rican and Dominican communities. So that's why we're here because we want to go where our people are who grew up with our products. I, I'm listening to you talk, I'm getting chills because I think so many people, especially our viewers, we talk about Orgullo Puerto Riqueño, which is Puerto Rican pride or Dominican pride. And so what has the reception been like? I know you opened, you had your ribbon cutting ceremony here last Friday. How has the neighborhood welcomed you? Honestly, it's just been absolutely incredible. I sometimes get chills and I get a little emotional because people come up to me, they, they're trying, they're sipping on their hot chocolate and they're saying, this feels like home in a cup. <laughs> That's what people tell me. Yeah. And they're just so happy and so thankful that we're here in the Bronx specifically. Um, you know, I just... It's, 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 it's very emotional, I would think, is. to see something come to fruition. He's being incredibly <laughs> modest because you were about to become a doctor and then you decided, no, maybe I should go get my MBA. You went to NYU, you went to Columbia, yes. but why did you make that decision specifically? Because it ties back to the island. Well, uh, while I was in medical school, Puerto Rico was going through the financial crisis, and then we had Hurricane Maria, and then we had earthquakes, and then we have a pandemic, but for me it was really important to, I, I felt a call to help the island and I felt like I had the, the opportunity to do that by working with my family. So that's why I pivoted from medicine to business so that I could you know, continue growing the family business, bring it here to New York so that we can be able to create more jobs, um, create awareness about what's going on in Puerto Rico, continue doing the work that we do with our foundation in Puerto Rico. So that was kind of the thought process behind the pivot. That was the conventional wisdom. So we were talking earlier, any Puerto Rican grew up with that bar of Cortez Chocolate. I remember as a kid watching my mother grate the chocolate and she watched her mother grate the chocolate into you know scalding hot leche and that's how we made our, our hot chocolate. But how did you transform this place into something so incredibly beautiful that really does harken back to what's in, in San Juan? Well, it was all inspired by uh, Old San Juan. Yeah. Um, we wanted to create a space that really transported you to the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. um, so that, and that's, I think we've been able to accomplish that. You can see we have the tiled floors, yeah. we have the arches inspired by Old San Juan. Yeah. We have images of our family history, the old factories. Um, so that's what we wanted to accomplish, is just kind of be able to transport people to the Caribbean and help them feel a little bit of that warmth. Yeah, well, I can tell you, job well done. You, you're very successful. So the food, I mean, you come here, you sit down, it's, it's, you feel like you're at home. The menu does not just have hot chocolate. You've brought out, Chef Maria has sent out some offerings. So what do we have here? Okay, so over here we have, oops, sorry. Okay. Estrellados, eh, huevos estrellados and mangu. Mm -hmm. So mangu is a traditional Dominican breakfast, mashed plantain, but yes, we serve good. it with chistorras yeah, instead of salami. Yes, so it's a little bit of a twist. Plus we have our uh, fried eggs over it. So you mm -hmm. crash you crash the eggs over it and it mm -hmm. becomes a gooey deliciousness. Unbelievable. Gooey del I like gooey deliciousness. 
And this, we have a, we have, a, we have only have a minute for this, but we're gonna try all of this. This is our chocolate grilled cheese. Oh. So this is a take on the tradition of drinking our hot chocolate with cheese. Mm -hmm. You put the cheese in the chocolate and you let it melt. So we made a grilled cheese with chocolate out of that concept. And this is probably That's our mm. best seller. That's our yeah. signature. Yes. And last but not least, and this is not the last thing on the menu, but oh this is God. the last thing here. So these are the chalupitas de mofongo. We take that traditional mm. Puerto Rican dish, mm -hmm. mofongo, which mofongo. is made of plantain, mofongo. and we make a taco <laughs> shell out of it. Uh, we have uh, smoked pork. Uh, Pico de gallo. We yeah, have our chocolate have, guac. Chocolate guac. Okay, listen, and chocolate hot sauce. Hmm. Dios, Dios chocolate mio. Can we, can we try some of the... Of course. We're going to, you know, like if we were sitting together, we would lower our masks and eat. Carlito, yeah. vamos. You have the mofongo. Can yeah, we taste mofongo, a little bit of this? Fun to say. Word of um, I'm going to have the mofongo in a little bit. Yeah, because yeah, it's got the little taco-y thing going mm -hmm. on with the, with the pulled mm. pork. You heard the crisp biting into that? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> this wow. is... I would walk yeah. over the Caribbean Sea <laughs> to get this. This is delicious. Yep. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. Cheers. I've had enough of you guys. That's, we're gonna yeah, get that's the chocolate morning. and the cheese the together. After this, we're going to go make some hot chocolate. Awesome. Can the photographer Let's just do, do a quick spin around? You want me to put around. this into the, yeah, yeah, into the, the sauce. sauce? Let's do the sauce. Not that one. Oh, they want to see, Andrew, they want to see the sauce. Carlito, oh, they want to see the okay, sauce. Yeah. No, I want to see the restaurant. No, you want me to dip this in this? The beautiful no. arches. Oh, they want to see the, the restaurant. They're, ti they're tired of looking at the Carlos and Marisol yeah, show. Nobody needs to see you. Yeah, the there rest. it is. Oh, this nice. is, if you guys have never been to, to, to San Juan. Who's that guy? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, and by the way, they, this is Larry. Say hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. Sorry, Larry manager. is the general manager. He is also the mixologist. Oh, and hey, you can also get a delicious libation. This, by the way, the rim of this is actual oh. chocolate. Oh, yeah. Chocolate. Frozen yep. chocolate. Yep. Why would beautiful. Beautiful, it beautiful place. Perfection. Everything Cocktail, there is beautiful. Which is uh, barrilito, three stars rum. He's still telling me what all the ingredients are. <laughs> yeah. I'm just enjoying this. We'll come back to Goodbye. you. Goodbye. We'll see you guys All right, later. we love you. Beautiful. See you in a bit.